Let's sort through some of the misconceptions regarding joining a Masonic Lodge and becoming a Freemason and explain how you can connect with a lodge in your area and perhaps begin your journey into self-improvement through Freemasonry. First, you don't need to be related to a Mason, but you do need to ask a Mason about joining a lodge. You see, Masons don't recruit. We want people to join because they want to join, not because someone has talked them into it. It's why Masons use the phrase, to be one, ask one. So, is anyone you know a Freemason? A friend, a coworker, even a casual acquaintance? When it comes to joining a lodge, a person you know personally is always going to be the best resource. So ask around, and I bet you'll be surprised at who you know that is in fact a Freemason. But what if you really don't know anyone who is a Mason? Well, don't worry, we can help you out with that. First, let's explain the requirements and a little bit about the petition process. One thing to be aware of is that every lodge is governed by a Grand Lodge who sets the rules in their state or province or country in which that lodge is situated. So in the United States, there is one Grand Lodge for each state and one for the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. And they all operate independently from each other. So there will be some slight differences in the rules and processes from place to place. For instance, in some Grand Lodges, you need to be 21 to join a lodge. In others, you only need to be 18. Whatever the age is, in a lodge, we say that a man needs to be of lawful age. So that could be 21, it could be 18. It depends on what the Grand Lodge says in that state or province. You also need to believe in a higher power. Now, this doesn't mean that you need to be in church every Sunday or that you need to subscribe to one particular religion. You need to believe in a higher power, period. So there are Masons who are Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, virtually any faith you can think of, someone in that faith is a Mason. They're all treated as equals and welcome in a Masonic Lodge. You need to be a man of good moral character. If you've got an extensive criminal history, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to be allowed to become a Mason. In Masonry, our goal is to make good men even better, not to be a reform school. So if you've got some outstanding legal issues, you definitely want to take care of those before you consider joining a Masonic Lodge. Now, once you connect with a Masonic Lodge and ask to join, you're going to have to fill out a petition. This is simply a membership application. Your name, your address, birthday, what you do for a living, all of those things. And of course, you'll have to pay a petition fee. Nothing in life is free, and Masonry isn't free either. But don't worry, it is not terribly expensive. In most cases, it's a few hundred dollars for initiation and includes a few things that you'll need once you become a Mason. It also usually includes your first year's due. Oh, by the way, there are yearly dues, which is just the fee you pay every year to be a Mason. If for some reason you're not accepted into the lodge at that initiation process, that fee is returned to you. Once you turn in your petition, a few things will start happening behind the scenes. First, in many Grand Lodges, they will perform a background check to make sure that you don't have any of that criminal history that we were worried about just a little bit ago. So if you had some kind of minor issue from years before, it's best that you just go ahead and disclose that ahead of time on your petition. There will definitely be a space for that. Next, your name is gonna be read out in Lodge and sent to every member of the Lodge in the monthly newsletter so that every brother in the Lodge knows exactly who it is that is asking to join. After the background check and your name has been read in Lodge, you're going to be contacted by the Lodge and the investigation committee is going to come and visit with you. Now, this is not as scary as it sounds. Basically, a few brothers from the Lodge are going to meet with you at your convenience and usually in your own home. This is not only a chance for those guys to get to know you a little bit, but it's also a chance for you and your family to ask as many questions as you want about Freemasonry, about the Lodge itself, about the petition process, about all of those things. So this is a really good chance for a give and take type of dialogue. That investigation committee, it sounds scary, but actually it's a really great experience. And the guys who came to investigate investigate me when I became a Mason are now some of my best buddies. After all of those steps are complete, all the members of the Lodge will vote on your petition for membership. It only takes one negative vote to keep you out of the Lodge. This is because Masonic Lodges are all about harmony, so if one member thinks that you're not a good fit, then you're not going to be invited to join the Lodge. That's why every member needs to be informed about who's joining. So, 
if you do happen to know someone in that lodge and maybe somebody has a problem with you, maybe you stole somebody's girlfriend in the eighth grade or something like that, now is probably a good time to straighten that out or perhaps consider petitioning a different lodge. However, once that vote has been taken and you have been elected to receive the degrees of Freemasonry, you'll get a letter from the lodge telling you about your upcoming initiation with all the details of when you need to be at the lodge, what time, and what you need to bring with you. And that's pretty much it. Here are a couple of tips to keep in mind. First, you're gonna to need to exercise some patience. The process of joining a lodge can take a little while, usually a few months. Summertime and holidays, they can be especially slow. So be patient and don't get discouraged, but make sure you follow up every couple of weeks to see where your petition is in that process. Finally, to make that whole process as easy as possible, you need to check out beafreemason.org. This is a website that has been set up by three of the largest Masonic organizations in the United States to help men connect with Freemasonry and get started on their journey. It is a one-stop site to answer all your questions, get legitimate information, and take that first step. Believe me, there is a lot of fake information on the internet. I know you're surprised. But if you go to beafreemason.org, I guarantee you're going to get the right information and get connected with the Grand Lodge in your area. So, if you're really interested in masonry, go to beafreemason.org. The link is in the description below and also at the end of this video. If you've got some specific questions about becoming a Freemason, drop them in the comments below or email podcast at scottishright.org. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share this with your friends. Good luck in your journey into Freemasonry.